What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today is the recap of the Six, six Nations, the Super Rugby um, Week 1. We had the Jaguars playing the Stormers and the Sharks playing the Lions. Um, let's start off with the Stormers game. Um, it was a close encounter. Stormers were looking quite dominant at the start, uh, making some good moves, scoring great tries, running rugby, which was unusual to see, but it's great to see for Stormers rugby. Um, and so they were looking quite good. But the problem I had was they seemed to let the Jaguars come back. Um, and credit to the Jaguars. There, there was so much passion and determination from that team. Um, they were looking pumped. They were looking ready. They were looking, a lot, for, for me personally, a lot better than they looked last year, which was phenomenal to see. I was so glad to see that. Um, so uh, overall, great game. Good win for South African fans. Um, but it's good to see the Argentines um, going in there full force, wanting to play some good rugby. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw the fans, the, the Argentinian fans, was passionate and having an absolute jolt. So that was great to see. So I, I think we can expect good things from um, the Jaguars this year. Definite improvement from last year, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, overall good game. I predicted a Stormers win. Uh, I predicted it by more than it was. But um, good win for Stormers. Well done to them. And to the Stormers fans. Then we get to Sharks versus Lions. Now, as a Sharks supporter, I'm a bit disappointed with this result. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm pleased with the performance of the Sharks. I just find they keep, they get the opportunities to score tries and they keep messing up. This is the same problem last year, year before that. It's a typical Sharks, actually it's a South African rugby problem. Um, so, uh, yeah, it wasn't a convincing game for me for the Sharks or good good performance from the Lions again I didn't see I won't say it's a Lions from last year there was a change um, not saying they're not good or anything I just think it was a, a, a close encounter um, a tough game for the for, for both teams but um, yeah the just didn't seem the one thing I did pick up is Yankees and 15 what's his name I could see I think they play so well for the Lions, but when they put on the Springbok jersey, they're, they, they're like useless. So, I know it's a different kind of game. International rugby is tougher. But jeepers, they were looking good. Um, but yeah, I'm disappointed with the loss for the Sharks, but um, it's good to see Lions winning, so um, they go forward. But my question is, I don't see them as strong as they were last year. Um, last year, Lions were dominant but the question again, and I'm nervous, is that when these South African teams, we haven't seen the Bulls yet, uh, but when when they play against the Crusaders, the Chiefs, the Hurricanes, all, all those teams, the Blues, see a lot of Blues fans here, um, and even the, some of the Aussie teams, I just don't see it being as convincing um, a performance. I, I, I just, I've got a feeling there could be some dominance. A few question marks to be raised about South African rugby. There's still some problems, but hopefully... Um, it's just minor issues and we will see these these changes have been made. Um, as I said, good win for Lions, glad for them, gutted for the Sharks, but I'm glad to see the Sharks at least are there and they're about. Uh, there's a lot more that needs to happen and I want to see a better performance and, and definitely capitalizing on opportunities because that was um, annoying me. I was getting very frustrated with that. So overall good weekend of rugby happy for the Jaguars just to see that they got a spark in them um, Stormers good one for them again not convincing enough in my opinion but it was a tough Jaguars team so credit for their win at least and credit to Lions for their win I'm excited to see all the New Zealand and Australian teams next week I'm very curious to see um, how they play out I'm expecting big things obviously from New Zealand they're going to try and dominate like they do every year um, and I'm expecting a big change in Australian rugby. I'm hoping to see a more improved team, teams um, and also dominant. So it's going to be a tight tournament um, and I'm excited to see how this tournament plans out. So great weekend coming up of rugby and Six Nations. I can't wait. So that's going to do it for today's video guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can keep up to date with all 
Super Rugby fixtures, recaps, and all that stuff. So much to look forward to. Six Nations coming up um, again after their break. So predictions and recaps coming for that. And then obviously predictions for Super Rugby. So much more content. Have a great week. Happy Sunday. And let's stay safe and never give up. Cheers, guys.